Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about you know, Amrita centralized seat allotment process which is called Amrita CSEP and I'm going to give the complete step by step guideline of how you can apply for admission to BTEC University program in Amrita University. So don't miss it. So let's start right. So key important points about CSEP registration 2025 uh, is the registration timing right. So you should remember that you can register only once at the beginning of both the CSAP rounds. So there will be two rounds, CSAP round one, round two, and you can re register only once at the beginning of both CSAP rounds. Registration starts after AE 2025, rank cards are announced, right? And so first, like you have to have your registered email id and the mobile number which we used during the application form same combination will be used to log in into the amrita csap portal all communication related with counseling and everything will be sent at both the places your registered email id and mobile number and otp validation is a mandatory step so it is important that you maintain a correct login password and for all the times an important note is that multiple registrations are not allowed and no, no refund will be given for duplicate registrations. So avoid that and have one registration which is correct. Now I will first start with the documents which are and steps which are required for CSAP registration process. So the first thing which is required is mandatory actions is HSC marks card that is your 12th grade marks card you have to upload all the mark statements right which is received by different board which is CBSC, ICSC or any of the state boards you have to upload your 12th grade marks card so as I mentioned that state board candidates right which are coming from say Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana right use hall ticket number to retrieve marks card so you can use your hall ticket number to get your marks card uh, if you have not got already cbsc students must retrieve marks via digi locker so link is provided in the document but you if you know you can also install the digi locker uh, basically app on your thing and then you can get your cbsc uh, marks card available for you and for all other boards right which are not mentioned here upload 12th marks certificate manually so these are the different options how you can upload your 12th class mark sheet in the csap portal now j means application students who are coming from j means uh, admission process but not from csap admission process they also need to enter j means 2025 percentile highest of the two sessions only upload once which is the highest marks of two session and upload the scorecard in the given section academic preference right you have to choose a combination of campus plus btec branch which you want to take for example if you are looking for idabad campus and within that campus if you are looking for artificial intelligence and data sciences branch with medical engineering so you have to choose that type of campus plus btech combination next is the important note is that admission can be cancelled at any stage if you are providing any wrong information error or discrepancies and not meeting the condition and you have to ensure that the plus two state and social categories right it should be correctly mentioned your home state here where you studied class 10 plus 2 which is standard 12 should be correct social category can be general SCST OBC others it should be correctly uploaded in the CSAP portal now guidelines specifically for SCST candidate that they must upload a community certificate which is there in English so caste certificate you are putting there it should not be in any other language it should be in the English and in case and if in case it is in some other language which is not English then you must first translate it and then notarized in English and then only you can upload it so it's very important for SCSE student that it should be in English and if it's not available you translate it notarize it and upload it 
now the next step is about the registration process right so you see the registration fees is 5000 rupees non refundable if admission is offered in any round so if you get any seat allotted in any round of you know uh, csap counseling your fees is non refundable fee is refundable only if the candidate does not get admission in any round including the mop up round so if you don't get any seat in any campus your 5000 will be refunded so that is a good news now next important point is that no refund if the candidate does not act on the offered seat that means if you are offered any seat in a particular round and you do not do anything you do not pay the fees you do not reject the seat etc and you do not do anything it will be not refunded that money is gone registration does not guarantee a seat or admission that is obvious that you cannot say that i have registered so i should get some seat now also very important thing about the eligibility and quotas right so seats are reserved for candidate who studied their hsc which is class 12 in the same state for at least 2 years right so depending on the campus right if you have studied in that particular state where the college is located seats are reserved for at and you should have studied at least 2 years 11th and 12th in that state and those states are andhra pradesh for ap campus tamil nadu for chennai campus coimbatore campus and the other campuses in the state Kerala for Amrit Amrita Puri campus, Karnataka for Bangalore campus, and Delhi NCR for the Delhi NCR campus. So you should be basically studied at least two years to be called as home state student in that particular campus. Otherwise, you will be considered as other state candidate for that particular campus. So you should remember that. Now, academic preference submission, right? must submit at least one academic so one is minimum academic preference you should put and you can choose up to 51 combinations right that that is a maximum limit a student can put up to 50 combinations if seven campuses are there 18 branches are available within that you can put 51 combinations that is the maximum limit modifying preferences preferences can be changed only after a trial allotment and that within notified dates right so only after trial allotment if you are not happy with the allotment you have got and you want to edit it so that you get the best seat in the round one then only it can be changed after trial allotment no further changes allowed if seat is allotted in any round so please remember that preference can be changed only once after submitting preference and paying the fees you can download same as pdf for your future references and in case you need any help during payment or any other part facing a problem with the portal they can reach out to this email id which is a triple e at amrita dot edu dot in and any for technical help you can also raise your query at https a triple e dot amrita dot edu so i will not talk about the allotment process in the next video that's all for now thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates take care and bye